Hey guys, I have an art supply comparison to share with you. These are the Polychromos by Faber Castell, and this is the Pablos by Karen Dosh. These are both sets of 120. They're both professional oil based colored pencils with excellent light fastness. They're creamy but firm, and they are great for detail work because you can sharpen these to a really fine point. They're buildable with no wax bloom, and they both come open stock. Okay, so first we're going to look at the packaging and then we're going to compare the color palettes. Okay, let's start with the Polychromos. It comes in a nice metal tin with a hinged lid. They have these little pull tabs here which make it really easy to remove the tray. You have three layers of pencils in a set of 120 and there is a permanently attached foam on the bottom of the tray and that protects the layer of uh, pencils underneath. Okay, let's put these back and let's look at the Pablos. Now this is also in a nice metal tin with a hinged lid. The little foam is removable, but the trays in this one are nice metal trays, so that's really, really nice. I like that. Now the second uh, layer has little pull tabs and that helps you remove that tray and then the bottom tray just stays uh, in the tin and also they are beautiful pencils okay let's put this back and look at the color palettes okay so I am going to start with the polychromos now this is the set of 120 Polychromos pencil colors. Now if you guys have seen my other videos on the Polychromos where I've swatched all of these colors, they were a little bit lighter because I only put one layer of color down. Now when I went to go film this video, I realized that my Karen Dosh Pablo swatches were darker. I had layer, put more layers of pencil colors down. So to make it fair, I did go over this one more time to build the color up so my color comparisons of the swatches would be more fair. So if you guys are comparing th this video to some of my other videos that I did with the swatches on polychromos. That is why the swatches are just a little bit darker in this video. I just built the color up a little bit. I just want you guys to really be able to compare these properly. Okay, so that being said, this is the polychromos and they are outstandingly beautiful. This is a complete color palette. You even have three metallics in here. This has everything you need. The colors are beautiful and bright. Again, you can make these soft so it's a whisper of color or build it up and get lots of impact. I love these. This is a really fantastic option if you are looking for a professional colored pencil. This is fabulous. I love these. Okay, so at any point, pause the video if you want to stop and really look at everything, um, you know, if you guys need more time. Okay, so this, let me pull this back into view. This is the Pablo's, and this is the color palette. Oh my gosh. Also, I want to say this is a complete color palette. You get everything you would need. The grays are separated here. You have grays here and then grays here. You have your cools and your warms. You have just about every single color you would even need. Now I will say that you do get more of a punch from your colors with the polychromos. These do jump off the page more. Now the Pablos seem to be a little bit softer. Um, now that's what my eye is picking up. You can tell me if you see something different, but to me you get more of an impact with the polychromos, but the Pablos seem to be a little bit more subdued color, a little bit softer, but again you do get a complete palette and they are both a creamy a really nice creamy oil based colored pencil but it's firm and that is excellent. I love that. I love how I can sharpen my pencil to a really fine point and get great detail work. So 
this is, these are both excellent, excellent. I give both of these a big thumbs up. They're just fantastic. So it really depends on, they both perform exactly the same. If you're looking based on performance, they both perform, they're both creamy, they're both firm, but it's the color impact. That's the real difference. You get more of that brightness from the polychromos and it's more subdued with the Pablos. Okay, so I hope this has helped you guys. I hope this has helped you uh, make your decisions in which set to buy, which is right for you, because guys, I know these are expensive. I totally get it. That's why I'm doing these videos, because I wouldn't want anybody out there to spend the money and then wish they would have bought another set. So, they're both excellent. I am not gonna say one is better than the other. They're both excellent. It just depends on what, what you prefer in color palette. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, I will leave a link below so you guys can go check everything out yourself and you'll know where to buy them. Okay, I'll see you later, bye.